Lawrenceville City Campground in Branson, Missouri. The Lawrenceville show you're about to see is all about America's favorite pastimes and was done in 1973. So I thought I'd tell you how my family and I spent our vacation that year. My wife, Marguerite, and our four kids took what turned out to be the last vacation the six of us would spend together. It all started by renting a motorhome to drive back to Iowa to visit our folks. Now, motorhomes were not as sophisticated as they are now. It was one surprise after another. The first surprise was when I went to get gas. It took 50 gallons. I took it home to start loading and gave our oldest son, Rick, a bag of charcoal to put in the back bin. Unfortunately, he put it in the bin with the generator. And <laughs> about 10 minutes later, one of the neighborhood boys watching the whole scene says, that thing's on fire. And sure enough, black smoke was billowing out of the back. Well, we finally got the fire out and finally got underway. The refrigerator never worked. And the tires would flatten out every night when we parked. In the morning when we started out, it felt like he had square wheels. But we lived through it. And looking back, it was a lot of fun. I think I'd like to do it again, but with the new state-of-the-art coaches they have now. Now, here's an American pastime that is a lot more fun and a lot less work, watching the Lawrence Welk Show on public television. So, let's get on with it. From Hollywood, the Lawrence Welk Network presents the Lawrence Welk Show, saluting American pastime. <laughs> to the movies, but be sure to check the rating first. The movies, of course, are just one of the American pastimes. And by the way, we're very happy that television watching is a favorite pastime of so many of you folks. Let's call on our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. Norma has a pretty song for all you uh, sailing fans.
Beautiful as always. Thank you, Norma. Next, the band. And here's a song that really the theme of our show. Games people play. Boys, take it away. I suppose you noticed our band uniforms. In this show, they were green, but we had them in every color you could imagine. Black, white, beige, blue, red, brown, mustard yellow, and even orange. I remember one day, I walked into the studio in my orange suit, and a stagehand said, oh no, your suit really is orange. I was trying to adjust my color on my set because I thought that was a red suit. I thought my TV was busted. Well, that wasn't the worst thing I ever heard said about our suits. After the series ended, I called a local charity to donate some of my old clothes. And while I was out of the room, my wife explained to the man who had come to pick them up that they were costumes from the Lawrence Welk show. Oh, thank goodness, he said. I thought he just had bad taste in clothes. <laughs> now, Rosie Wise loved colorful costumes, and her personality was as bright as her wardrobe choices. She made us all look good and feel good, too. By the way, Rose and Lawrence do a polka a little later on in the show. Love you, Rosie. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Hey, hey sweet baby, don't you think maybe we could find us a brand new recipe? I got a hot dog board and a two dollar bill, and I know a spot right over the hill. This soda pop and the dancing free, so if you want to have fun, come along with me. Hey, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Well, I'm free and ready, so we can go steady. How's about saving all your time for me? Oh, no, no more looking, I know I've been cooking. How's about keeping steady company? I'm gonna throw my date book over the fence. Find me one book, five or ten cents. I'll keep it till it's covered with date. Cause I'm writing your name down on every page. Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking?
dedicate that to all the outdoor barbecue chefs. That would include me. That would include right you. Right. Oh. Hey, while we're talking about pastimes, we sure don't want to leave out winter sports. Oh, like snow skiing. Yes, I snow love skiing. snow skiing. And ice skating. You know, I love the, those ice shows, especially the ice follies. Yeah, well, here we're going to uh, salute ice skating right now as one of the favorite winter pastimes. And here to do it are Bobby and Sissy dancing to the skater's waltz. <laughs> dancing and a beautiful set thanks to our fine art director Chuck Kuhn. Jimmy Roberts has a song about something that's part of the daily routine of many Americans, prayer. Here's Jimmy with Bob Ralston at the organ. Come in Jimmy. When things were going my way He said to me, I will comfort you And lift your cares away I asked the Lord to walk with me When darkness was all that I knew he said to me, never be afraid, for I will see you through. I didn't ask for riches, he gave me wealth untold. The moon, the stars, the sun, the sky, and gave me eyes to behold. And I count my blessings each day. He came to me when I needed him. I only had to pray. And he'll come to you if you ask him to. He's only
song coming up next is one that I have done more times and more ways than I can even count. It's called Real Live Girl, and I've sung it with every female Welk star from Alice Lawn to the Lennon sisters to Sandy Gale and Mary Lou, the three pretty young ladies you're about to see. I've done the song as a mad scientist, a bachelor in the 20s signing my dance card, even as a mannequin in a store window. In this show, we're all dressed up in turn-of-the-century costumes, driving a vintage car, as if we're going to a classic car rally, which is an American pastime that is very, very big in Tennessee, where I live. We call them rod runs, and the people from all over the South bring their old restored cars to Pigeon Forge, and we sit on lawn chairs at the curb and watch them drive by. Those antique cars are really beautiful and really expensive, I might add. Please note that we spared no expense on this show and had some film footage running behind us to make you believe we're out on the Los Angeles freeway. And here's the man who wrote the check for it. If you don't mind a little traffic, Driving around this beautiful country is still a popular pastime. Right now, we find uh, Dick Dale and three pretty companions on their way to a classic car rally. Let's join them. <laughs> I've never done this with a real live girl Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real live girls Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze Bogged up my goggles and buckled my knees I'm simply drowned in the sight and the sound and the sense and the feel of a real Nothing can beat getting swept off your feet by a real live boy. Nothing else charms like to be in the arms of a real live boy. Speaking of miracles, this must be it. Just when I started to learn how to knit, I'm all in stitches from finding what riches arrive can reveal with a real. From finding what riches arrive can reveal with a real life. Looks like Dick has a new problem a front seat driver. And now Myron Florin, our happy Norwegian. Myron has a new album titled Happy Polkas. And one of the songs reminds us of another favorite American pastime. Shall we dance?
Apparently these polkas are not only happy, but they're getting a little dangerous. <laughs> Golf certainly ranks high among American pastimes, and this is true in our musical family as well. Most of you know it's our boss's favorite form of relaxation. I don't know how good Ken Dilo is at swinging a club, but he's really a pro when it comes to singing a song. Let's join Ken on the golf course. I don't believe in fretting and grieving Why mess around with strife? I never was cut up to step and strut out Give me the simple life Some find it pleasant, dining on pheasant Those things roll off my knife Just serve me tomatoes and mashed potatoes Give me the simple life A cottage small is all I'm after Not one that's spacious and wide a house that rings with joy and laughter And the ones you love inside Some like the high road, I like the low road Free from the care and strife Sounds corny and seedy, but yes and needy Give me the simple life Now a cottage small is all I'm after Not one that's spacious and wide a house that rings with joy and laughter And the ones you love inside Some like the high road, I like the low road Free from the care and strife Sounds corny and seedy, but yes indeedy Give me the simple life Give me the simple life Well, maybe golf isn't my game. <laughs> Look at the handicap they gave me. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, there's, when it comes to favorite pastimes, there's nothing like sitting and listening to a great mus musician perform. And we have one coming up for you right now. Our sensational clarinet man, Henry Cuesta, playing his own arrangement of Georgia Camp Meeting. <laughs>
some things never change. These maps are impossible to fold, and my wife and I are still taking long trips by car. Last September, our son Danny was married in California, so we drove from Tennessee to Los Angeles to celebrate the marriage of our fourth and last child. He and his wife, Wendy Kay, were married in the beautiful San Fernando Mission, and all of the other kids were there, too. This is our son, Rick, his wife, Lisa, and our two-year-old grandson, Ryan. Rick is a computer technician and lives in Dayton, Ohio. This is our daughter, Dee Dee, and her husband, Tony. She's an artist and has just started a new business doing decorative stenciling. And this is our son, David, who sings and dances in the 50s show at Dollywood. His picture is on the big billboard outside of town, and I get a kick out of seeing his face every time I drive by. Seeing him do his show is one of my new favorite pastimes. Some years ago, every major hotel in the country used to feature live music. One of my favorite pastimes was dropping into a hotel dining room to enjoy a string ensemble. To me, that was perfect relaxation. It was truly a, a lovely way to spend an evening. Beautiful. Beautiful as always. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate tonight in having with us a guest artist in the house tonight, lovely and talented young singer who is going to sing for us now, the beautiful Miss Tanya Welk.
your track All I can say is wow Hey look where I'm at tonight I landed cow Right in this part of jam What a setup Holy cow They'd never believe me If my friends could see me now You know who's in our audience tonight? The Kurt Ramsey Quintet. But that's not all. Bobby Burgess and Sissy King, the greatest dance couple ever. Let's go dance again. Let's romance again. Like we used to do. I'm a Bobby boy. We did before to a beat that's blue. You will find a new that it's only you I always enjoyed singing as part of the quintet. The five of us usually sang big band numbers in the style of the modern airs and other 1940s groups. And it was fun to relive those exciting days of my youth. And here I am, still working in show business after all those years. I did the Christmas show for two months at the Welk Resort in Escondido with Ava Barber. Ava and I owned a theater together for many years, but we decided to sell it and concentrate on just performing for a while. It was nice to share the stage with her again. I work at the Champagne Theater here in Branson for a couple of weeks a year, and have started to do some of those senior expos that are so popular these days. After I sold the theater, I thought I might want to slow down, but that wasn't the case. I divide my time between the stage and the golf course. My singing is still better than my putting, but I'm working on it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're delighted with the wonderful audience reaction to our newest discovery, Anna Connie, the charming little Mexican girl. She's really doing a great job as our singing hostess in the restaurant at our country club village. And we have been receiving some very nice comments about her appearance on our show. Anna Connie, that's a real nice dress you have here this evening. But Thank I'd like so to ask you to introduce your song now in English. Show the folks that you can also talk English. Okay. <laughs> Many people have asked me to sing Cielito Lindo, uh -huh. and I'm going to do so with much love. Very good, boys. A little music, please. Por la sierra morena Vienen bajando, vienen bajando Un par de ojos 
ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Por la sierra morena vienen bajando, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Cantando se alegra cielito lindo los corazones. Pájaro que abandona su primer nido, su primer nido. Regresa y ya no encuentra cielito lindo el bien perdido. Ese lunar que tienes. Cielito lindo junto a la boca, no se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 smile to not sorrow, porque cantando se alegra cielito lindo los corazones. Los corazones. Anna Connie, it looks like we have a winner in this young lady. And we're so glad you folks like her too. The jogging craze has become very popular. It's not only good exercise, it's a pleasant form of relaxation. At least you get tired enough so you can relax. Let's see what happens when Arthur Duncan sets the pace. Duncan running wild. At least he's in pretty good shape. Home and family mean a great deal to Joe Feeney. Joe has a song that's very appropriate for a man with 10 children and a little ranch here in Southern California. My little gray home in the West. 
When the golden sun sinks in the hills And the toil of a long day is o'er Though the road may be long in the lilt of a song I forget I was weary before Far ahead where the blue shadows fall I shall come to contentment and rest And the toils of the day Will be all charmed away In my little gray home in the west There are hands that will welcome me in there are lips I am burning to kiss There are two eyes that shine Just because they are mine And a thousand things other men miss It's a corner of heaven itself Though it's only a tumble-down nest with love brooding there Why no place can compare In my little gray home in the West Itself, though it's only a tumble-down nest But with love brooding there Why no place can compare With my little grave Ralston. Our wonderful country singer, Clay Hart, is next. Clay, tell the folks about your song. Thank you, Lawrence. I have a great old country song that George Jones recorded some time ago, and I'd like to dedicate it to all you horse racing fans that have had your hearts broken. It's called The Race Is On. I feel tears welling up down deep inside like my heart sprung a big break. And a stab of loneliness, sharp and painful, that I may never shave. You might say I was taking it hard when you wrote me off with a call. But don't you wager that'll hide my sorrow. I might break right down and ball. Now the race is on, and here comes pride at the backstretch. Heartaches are going to the inside. My tears are holding back, trying not to fall. My heart's out of the running, true love scratch for another's sake. The race is on, and it looks like heartaches, and the winner loses all. Now I ventured in love, never once suspecting what the final result would be. Trying to live in fear, of waking up each morning, finding that you're gone from me. There's an ache and pain in my heart, for today was the one that I hated to face. Somebody new came up to win her, and I came out in second place. Now the race is on, here comes pride at the backstretch. Heartaches going to the inside, my tears holding back, trying not to fall. The race is on and it looks like heartaches And the winner loses all Yeah, Neil Over the years, we all collected a lot of Lawrence Welk souvenirs But I have something that no one else has Here's a Plymouth banner from the late 1950s With all our pictures silkscreen on it 
Dodge and Plymouth was our sponsor for a long time. And when they quit the show, I asked them if I could have it. Isn't that neat? That's really neat. You know, the Welk Resort has a lot of memorabilia displayed in cases in the lobbies. And it's interesting to look at all the items that were produced and purchased by Mr. Welk. Now, here is an onyx pen and holder. It was a gift from Lawrence in the 50s. It says, to Dick from Lawrence. And here is a kind of a neat thing with the address book. You press this little lever and it pops up. It says, Richard L. Dale. Hmm. They're getting serious there, aren't they? Here's something that's really unique. It says, a toast to memorable moments in your life. The champagne music of Lawrence Welk. You open it up and it says, may your health always sparkle like bubbles in the wine. And here we have a bottle of champagne and two little glasses. That's really unique. You know, Lawrence would be amazed at how much money they get for some of this trademark gifts he had. Oh, well, there's no use crying over stuff that's been thrown away. We might just as well forget about it and head for the pastime Americans are supposed to like best. Baseball! And please note, ladies and gentlemen, that I did not eat a couple of hot dogs like some of the other people in the group. I was much more disciplined then than I am now. Let us not forget the great national pastime baseball. Of course, there's a lot more to baseball than the game. There's popcorn, peanuts, and all kinds of excitement. Let's join Mary Lou Metzger and the crowd at the ballpark. Sandwiches, Frank Furter sandwiches. How oh, his baby loves those Frank Furter sandwiches, Frank Furter sandwiches. He tried to win me with flowers, all kinds of sweetness, till he found out his baby's weakness. Every night I whisper, Thanks for the sandwiches, thanks for the sandwiches. But he feels there's something wrong. Her tokens of his love. Some bring bags of gold, their ladies love to hold, and jewels bright as stars above. But it seems my ideals are much higher. So here's how he fulfills my heart's desire. Thirty sandwiches. Furdy sandwiches. Furdy sandwiches. Furdy sandwiches. I never cared much for candy. Ice cream or custard. But how I love hot dogs with mustard. Each time he starts popping the quail.